Introducing the new Atari. What a turnaround Jack Trammell has wrought at Atari. Video game pioneer Atari rebounds finally into the black. A uh, big name in high tech is back in the news, and for a change, the news is good. We're back and better than ever. The new Atari has risen like a phoenix from the ashes to emerge as a bold, innovative competitor in the high-tech world of both personal computers and video games. When Jack Trammell and team took over the company in the summer of 1984, the challenge was immense, but so was our determination. And the results have been nothing short of amazing. For 1986, our sales were up 82% to $258 million, and profits increased dramatically to $44 million. On November 7, 1986, two and a half years of successes culminated in the new Atari making its debut on the American Stock Exchange to an enthusiastic reception from investors and investment professionals alike. Today, the new Atari is a major force in the computer industry, both here and abroad, and is capitalizing on the resurgence of video games as America's number one game maker. And the new Atari's lean, aggressive management team remains firmly committed to providing consumers with the most product for the least amount of money. Or as we said in our recent print campaign for the 520ST and the 1040ST, introducing technology so advanced, it's affordable. And our SD computers have the critics raised. InfoWorld called them the best hardware value of the year and added, from here on, you'd better think of Atari as a major player in the computer game. Microtime stated that the ST was faster and with greater graphics capabilities than an IBM AT. And Byte Magazine wrote, the ST is an amazing bar, much more a computer for the rest of us than Mac ever was. And for 1987, ST prices are lower than ever. Consumers have been equally enthusiastic around the world including the technologically demanding Germans, who have made the ST the leading personal computer in all of Germany. Right now, there are over 700 software programs available for the ST, and dozens of new titles from leading companies are being introduced every month. And it doesn't end here. New and powerful STs are on the drawing boards now that bring sophisticated new applications to the world of personal computers. Here's how we're telling the consumer the exciting ST power without the price story. The chairman of Atari has a motto he'd like us to follow. So Atari is going to show you that despite its image, IBM charges too much for the memory it gives you. That Apple Macintosh Plus costs far too much for the memory it gives you. Atari won't do that to be malicious, but to demonstrate that the Atari ST is nothing less than the best value in personal computers. Who's going to win the computer war? Stay tuned. Let's compare the Macintosh Plus with the Atari 1040 ST. Note the Atari screen is much bigger. And the Atari is in color. Good for drawing fruit, let's say. Both use a simple point-and-click system. But Atari's designers make it do more. Listen. The music you're hearing is Atari's. The only one with a built-in MIDI. How much more does all this from Atari cost? Fact is, Atari costs less, one half less. Let Atari tell you how the computer business works. Atari buys chips. The competition buys chips. We buy circuitry. They buy circuitry. We buy plastic. They buy plastic. But they have these expensive attachments that add to their price. So, you can buy an ST from Atari with the same memory as the Macintosh Plus, four times the memory of the IBM PCAT, for about one half, one quarter their price. Here's the Mac Plus from Apple, a good marketing company. So good, this computer with a 1024K memory sells for about 2200 bucks. The AT from IBM, an even better marketing company, 4295 for only 256 k the ST from Atari, same memory as Apple, four times IBM, but half the price of Apple, a quarter of IBM. Hmm, what a terrible marketing company Atari is. Or are they? The new Atari also has two great beginning computers in our XE line that, that are a to the wonders of personal computing and word processing. 
Plus, there are hundreds of software titles for every application, from term papers to family budgets. And the truly amazing part is that the XC costs under $100, almost 50% less than the competition. And in 1987, the new Atari will introduce a computer designed for design from the chip to take advantage of a dynamic new market. An expandable computer that will have an 8088 microprocessor, 512 kilobytes of memory, built-in 5 and 1 quarter inch disk drive, switchable clock speeds of 8 megahertz or 4.77 megahertz, and a detached keyboard with standard IBM PC XT format. All for the incredibly low starting price point of under $500. Introducing the Atari PC. This IBM compatible computer is an excellent addition to the marketing mix of our breakthrough STs and our beginning XEs. And at under $500, it's a perfect way to offer IBM performance at an Atari price. And when it comes to the video games, the fun is back. And Atari's got it. The fun is back! Oh yes, sirree! It's the 2600 from Atari! It's the video system of classics galore From space invaders to cars that roar A real hip joystick controls the screen Solaris is hot and midnight magic's mean And one more thing, it's got a special low price Under 50 bucks! 50 bucks? Now isn't that nice? Ooh, the fun is back! Oh yes, sirree! It's the 2600 from Atari! As a result of new packaging, new signs, and this great new commercial, the 2600 was a complete sellout in 86, and should do even better in 87, with new and exciting software, plus increased advertising support, and still for the same amazing retail price of under $50. In 1986, we also introduced the next generation of video game systems, the new 7800. And it was an immediate smash hit. In summer 1987, new super game titles like one on one basketball, winter games, and Sky Fox will be released to take advantage of the 7800's graphics, lifelike animation, and superb sound effects. Plus, there will be other hot new titles from such top software companies as Activision, Electronic Arts, Broderbund, and Epics. And at under $100, the 7800 is one of the best home entertainment values in the world. That's why we're telling millions of consumers that the 7800 plays more games and at a much lower price per cartridge than the competition. The more game cartridges a video game system plays, the more fun it is. And the Atari 7800 plays more games than the competition. And they're, and they're about half these super games like Sky Fox, One-on-One -on -one Basketball, Summer Games, Winter Games, Karateka, Gato, Impossible Mission, Arcade Classics like Pole Position, Centipede, Zebes, Deluxe Asteroids, Ms. Pac-Man, Joust, Galaga, Chop Lipper, Robotron 2084, all 2600 games like Solaris, Midnight Magic, Football, Kung Fu Master, Move Troll, the Atari 7800. More games at about half the price. For 1987, we've designed the ultimate high-end video game system. Introducing the Atari XC Game System. Everything for the sophisticated game player in one box. A sleekly designed game console with an incredible 64 kilobytes of memory. That's as much power as a computer has to create the most lifelike graphics and animation. Ever. Add to that an attachable game-playing keyboard for playing the most sophisticated arcade and computer games. Games that require keyboard interaction. And a target gun for playing the most exciting target and shooting games. The XC system has a great existing library of sports games, adventure games, strategy games, and arcade classics. The system even comes with Flight Simulator 2, Missile Command, and a great target game, all included. And hundreds of XE and XL cartridges are playable on the new game system. And if the serious gamer wants to play disc-based software, an XE disc drive is available separately. We're telling the exciting XE game system story with two hard-hitting, memorable 30-second television commercials. 
Introducing the new Atari XC video game system. The only game system that teaches you to fly. It comes with Flight Simulator 2 and a keyboard to play many advanced computer games. But that's not all. You can pilot your Atari through hundreds of other exciting games. Because it also comes with a target gun and the great game Blastem. And it plays the most challenging joystick games like Missile Command. The new Atari XC video game system. The only one that has it all. This is the Nintendo Video Game System. It plays about 50 games. This is the new Atari XE System. It plays hundreds of games. And only Atari comes with a real joystick and missile command. Both have guns, but only Atari comes with the target game Blastem. Nintendo has a toy robot, but only Atari gives you a keyboard for playing advanced computer games. It even comes with the amazing Flight Simulator 2 cartridge. The new Atari XE Video Game System. Unbeatable. But we've saved the best for last. Everything you see here is available to the consumer for around $150. The XE Game System. Another Atari breakthrough. New products. New prices. New promotions. It's all part of the new Atari. And our continuing commitment to provide the world with the best products at the lowest possible prices. The new Atari. We're back and better than ever.